Kono. State lawmakers are considering several bills proposed in response to the mass shooting in Lewiston, all with a goal of preventing gun violence. And today in Augusta, supporters of new gun laws gathered to put pressure on legislators. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour has more from the State House. Early Wednesday morning, the halls of the State House behind me were packed to the brim with mothers, grandmothers, students, and other advocates asking lawmakers to pass a suite of gun safety bills just introduced a few weeks ago. After all of the swattings that happened in Maine around a year ago, really scared students. We wanted to do something. Freeport High School student Liana Holden says she helped form a chapter of Students Demand Action at her school back in October because she wanted to help prevent gun violence here in Maine. A few days later came the mass shootings in Lewiston. I don't think many students have felt safe in a really long time. Shootings have kind of followed us as we've grown up. Which is why she was in Augusta, standing alongside dozens of other advocates from both Students Demand Action and Moms Demand Action, all pleading with legislators to pass bills supporting gun safety. And we're demanding lawmakers act with courage to pass life-saving laws now. Speakers share their own experiences at the rally, touching on how gun violence affected their lives and their points of view. Sure, we had plenty of lockdown drills in middle school where our teachers would tell us to all stay quiet, lock the doors, get under the desks. But nobody had really explained to me why we were doing that. Those personal stories showing why passing legislation to create background checks, waiting periods, or bans on certain devices is so crucial. The headlines scrolled across the bottom of the screen. Tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The rally was meant to allow lawmakers to see the faces of people affected, directly or indirectly, by gun violence. I'm glad that we can hear these bills and, um, and understand what they're about and what the outcomes are. Lawmakers like Republican Representative Donald Ardell of Monticello, who watched the rally from the sidelines. He says he hopes the focus can be shifted away from gun owners and more on the root cause of many gun deaths, mental illness and suicides. Making law-abiding gun owners wait three days is is not effective policy. And really, it's, it's, just, a, uh, it's just a move for people who are just hostile you know, to, to the right to arms. That suite of gun safety bills were discussed this afternoon in a work session in committee. There's currently no timeline on when they'll be voted on in the House and Senate. In Augusta, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine.